Well, good morning. This is Todd Bennett. Uh, it is Shabbat in uh, Jerusalem. It is uh, day three of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And uh, it is before sunrise. And I was just up writing a little bit and kind of commemorating the resurrection of Yeshua. And uh, just explaining something briefly about John uh, 21. In most common translations, uh, it talks about uh, the first day of the week, while it was still dark, that uh, Yeshua was resurrected. And that's actually not a proper translation. That's what gets many people thinking that uh, he was resurrected on Sunday, the first day of the week. What we read in the Greek is actually uh, Miaton Shabbaton. Uh, there's no day in there. Basically, it renders the first of the Sabbaths. And of course, if, unless you are counting the Omer and uh, observing the appointed times, you wouldn't even understand what that means. Yesterday was the uh, barley offering that was made after uh, the day after the first high day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So yesterday, which was Friday, was day one of the Omer count. Today is day two of the Omer count, and it's also day three of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So today is also the first of the Sabbath. See, when we make that first offering, we count uh, seven full weeks and then the following day is Shavuot, which means essentially we're counting 50 days, seven sevens, and then the following day is 50. We also celebrate um, or count Sabbaths during this time. So the count started yesterday on Friday, which would make today the first of the Sabbaths that we count during the feast, uh, during the uh, Omer count on the way to the Feast of Shavuot, the Feast of Weeks. So I know this is, you know, uh, uh, complicated for some people who are just starting out this walk, but it's something that, you know, we're supposed to see and work through the difficulties and find the meaning in them. So as we see this beautiful, quiet Sabbath morning before sunrise, the third day, of unleavened bread before, uh, well, it's still dark. This would have been the time that Yeshua was uh, resurrected and the tomb was opened. And I thought it was really nice to see uh, the moon also shining brightly in the sky. It's still, sun has not risen, but the moon is shining bright. And this is essentially, um, the atmosphere that would have existed at the time in Jerusalem that Yeshua arose. The birds are singing. It's very quiet. People are still sleeping. Uh, but this is it. And this week actually happens to be uh, in complete synchronicity with the week, uh, the Passion Week, uh, when Yeshua was uh, crucified and resurrected. So. It's really great when we see things come together. And I just thought I'd share with you uh, how it would have been. Of course, we have a lot of lights here <laughs> that would not have been on it, where it probably would have been very, very dark in Jerusalem. But the mood and the atmosphere is the same. And uh, we've got the, you know, it still looks like a full moon. It's, it's just, it's uh, starting to wane but uh, it still provides a lot of light here and that's uh we would have had that moonlight shining as the tomb of yeshua opened and he was resurrected so as we consider this sabbath day this resurrection day we think about the things that yeshua accomplished uh, that week in the past but it's also exciting to consider the things that he will accomplish in the future as well.
So may you have a, a blessed and peaceful and restful uh, Shabbat and uh, a joyous Resurrection Day as we commemorate Yeshua conquering death that leads to life for us.